Metro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Today we are in Memphis, Tennessee, hanging out with the man himself, Mr. Bill Dance. So it has been a lifelong dream of mine to stay here at the Pyramid, as it's called in Memphis, Tennessee. It's definitely a bucket list Bass Pro destination for me. So I had some business to conduct out here in Tennessee. So I decided to shack up for a couple days at the Bass Pro shops in Memphis. So we're here checking out some of the different things. And of course behind me you can see um, Bill Dance with, by the way, like the classic 1978 Bass Tracker. The one that that heritage that I've got is based off of. So we're gonna be hanging out here at Bass Pro shops. Definitely gonna check out some of the historical memorabilia around this spot and also we're going to hit the uh, tackle section to see if you can still fish it old school in a new school bass pro okay so you guys have to check out this is like the coolest boat ever this is the actual 1978 bass tracker it's that classic boat that the 2018 heritage was based off of if i could crack the glass and get into the tackle box oh uh, we'd have something i can already spot some old school specials I see uh, there's a, a Hellbender in there, there's a Dalton Special. Um, there's some old school wooden lures. Oh. Yeah, well, I don't know if that's Bill's actual tackle box, but that totally looks like some of the giant UMCO tackle boxes that he used to sport. I don't know if you all noticed, but with the Bass Tractor Classic and Heritage models, where that tackle box is, now there's actually a cooler. Honestly, I kind of like that open space in front of the console. And if that was an option, I probably would have picked it because I'm not really using that cooler a ton. And the extra storage right there would be pretty sweet. So there's the console itself. That's a pretty simple console. Nothing too crazy there, pretty low windshield. So it goes back to this seat here. That is just one row across. So unlike the seats now, which have two seats with some storage, I don't know how much storage is underneath there, but that's a pretty cool look. Uh, of course, there's your seat for the angle in the back of the boat, and right there is that old school 50 Merc. So, pretty cool display right here. That is one of my favorite Bill Dance books, Bass and Objects, and check out that old school camera. I don't know if that's one of the ones that they used to dunk back in the day, uh, but that's pretty sweet. I think Bill would have made like a really good YouTuber, I gotta be honest with you. If they could fish with that thing, ugh. Oh. That's actually a book, guys, worth picking up if you ever see it. Mark Sosin and Bill Dance, kind of odd uh, co-authors if you ask me, but Practical Black Bass Fishing, love that book. Oh, there you go, look at that. So there's the, uh, the four horsemen themselves. We got Johnny Morris, Bill Dance, Roland Martin, and Jimmy Houston in the back of the Bass Tracker 2018 Heritage. Oh, what an awesome boat. So I don't know if you guys know the story of how this Bass Pro Shops came to be, but apparently Johnny Morris had been thrown around the idea of whether or not he should convert the existing pyramid in Memphis into a Bass Pro Shops. It came down to like the 11th hour and he could not make up his mind. He asked his buddy Bill Dance if he had any input and he didn't either. He didn't know whether or not it was gonna be a good business decision. Well, it just so happens that they were out on the water that day and <laughs> it's a crazy story, but the whole thing came down to this. They decided that if they caught a catfish, worthy of being photographed, that they would convert the pyramid into a Bass Pro Shops. And if they didn't, then they would not pursue the deal any further. So, <laughs> apparently 11th hour, like last minutes of the day, um, they happened to hook into a rather large catfish. And after all that, the deal was done. There's a picture, there's actually a mount of the catfish up here, I'll show you guys. Oh, there it is. There's the, the catfish that started this Bass Pro Shops. There's Johnny Morris and Bill Dance. It's a deal. We're going to do it. So if they had not caught that catfish, there would be no Bass Pro Shops here. 
Well, all right, guys, we're gonna mask up, head inside, and see what other old school treasures we can find. All right, first stop was the boat section. And here I am with the 2021 Bass Tracker Classic XL. They definitely made some mods since I got my Tracker Heritage in 2018, but all in all, pretty much the same boat with a few little differences. Honestly, if you guys watch the channel, you know I love this boat. This boat was really the start of retro bass and when it came to the inspiration of really getting the channel off the ground. So let's take a quick look at this 2021 Bass Tracker Classic. XL. So one thing you can see they did is they definitely painted this, so it's got a different paint job. I kind of like the classic unpainted finish to be honest with you, but overall not too bad. They went with a gray interior carpet unlike that chocolate brown that mine has. So you see what I'm talking about right there? That's the cooler. So in the uh, 1978 model of this boat, there was no cooler there. The console just sort of ends short. Honestly, I could use that extra storage. Um, I don't know how many folks out there these days are having that UMCO giant tackle box, but you know who's got one? This guy. And I will say opening that bad boy right here is a little bit of a challenge. And then also you can see, so this one's got the two seats, whereas that old school model just had the bench seat, which honestly, I kind of like the look of that bench seat. They've made some mods to the wheels. Um, you all know that I love the hubcaps on the 2018 Tracker Heritage, but I think I lost one about six months in and I lost the other one about 10 months in. So I'm down to bare hub. This is a, a new model, not nearly as old school looking, but I think that's probably gonna last you a little bit longer. And true to the uh, spirit of the 1978 Bass Tracker, really not too bad of an entry price into what is one heck of a little fishing machine. So 13,415 as shown. With the exception of the old school logo, this Bass Tracker Classic is looking more and more like the standard trackers. Um, the one thing that I love about the Heritage Edition and even the Classic in the year following it, that 2019, is they really look like an, a boat that was sort of out of this time. This thing looks much more in line with the rest of the tracker boats here. But all in all, still a pretty darn good deal on a pretty sweet little fishing machine. So the plan is to peruse this tackle section and see what kind of old school fishing tackle I can still see at Bass Pro Shops. I just stumbled across this. So if you remember the recent episode we did on the Uncle Josh spin right. Check this stuff out. This looks really close. Look at that. That doesn't look like a spin right. So this is called a Pedigos Marabou spin right. What? Oh, that's crazy. So that's actually a spin right that I didn't even know that we introduced. I thought this was gonna be like a hard challenge to find old school tackle at a new Bass Pro Shops, but like four seconds in, I found <laughs> a spin right, even called a spin right. So sweet, well that's coming with us. All right, for all my Rebel fanatics out there, Rebel still makes the vast majority of the cool old school baits that they used to. The Wee Crawl, honestly, I still love this bait. This thing still catches the heck out of me. Oh, look at that. The Cricket Hopper, a money bait. They don't make the Caddercrawler for some reason. I don't know why, I kinda wish they did. Um, so you wouldn't have to spend like 20 bucks on eBay to get one. But nonetheless, we're gonna pick up some of these cool Rebels um, for a little bit of fishing this week. So basically anything from Fred Arbogast is gonna be old school. It just, they look old school. So here we go, it's a classic Hula Popper. Man, one of my favorite farm pond baits growing up. And again, the thing has not changed a whole ton over the years. Perch pattern. On the classic white belly frog. Ooh, the old nighttime jitterbug. Look at that thing. Three eighths of an ounce of midnight madness. Look at that. Man, classic bait, 
And honestly, you don't see a, a ton these days that look like it. So there's a Fred Arbogast jitterbug in a new school pattern. This is still pretty sweet. This is not an old school bait, but it really looks like it could be. The old buzz plug. It's almost like a modern day version of, I think, the sputter buzz, but a bait I've not fished with a ton, to be honest with you. And speaking of old school lure manufacturers, so Cotton Cordell, uh, a couple of Odyssey baits that I thought were defunct. So we've got this guy here, which is the CC Cotton Cordell Crazy Shad. It's sort of like a wood chopper, if you will. It's got a propeller on the front and the back. I've got some old versions of that bait. Oh, look at that. All right. That thing looks old school. So this is a Cotton Cordell Boy Howdy. Honestly, a bait I thought they discontinued. So notice this, it does not have a propeller on the front or the rear, but it's got a little bit of a weight there. So I th imagine this thing sort of jumps around like a jumping minnow or maybe even walks like a Zara spook. Old school bait that I think I'm gonna have to grab. All right, so keeping down the old school row here, heading torpedo. Yup. Another one, man. Hedden used to make so many cool baits. Oh, and probably one of the best school and bass baits of all time. And the clear Hedden Torpedo. And then they have just one tiny, crazy crawler. I actually like the larger model of this bait a little bit better than this one. I feel like it needs a little bit more weight. Do that side-to-side -side wobble. Almost a jitterbug-esque uh, action. Ooh. And there we go, Charlie Campbell special. The old school Hedden Zara Spook. Man, still, in my opinion, the best walking bait on the market. Classic perch pattern. Bullfrog. And one of my favorites was this. Blue Shad, it's got that G finish on it. So without a doubt, this little section here was the most old school section I could find. So many classic baits they still make today that honestly, I don't think get enough press and you don't see them on the water nearly enough. So I've got a bunch of these already in the old tackle box. I'm probably not gonna pick up too many of these, but just know if you wanna fish it old school, you don't necessarily have to get on eBay. And since we're on a little bit of a Bill Dance theme today, a little Bill Dance trivia is who was his first lore sponsor? And it actually might surprise you just a little bit. So back when Bill Dance was a young, non-Tennessee hat wearing tournament angler, Nick Cream from Cream Lures reached out to him and actually got Bill on contract. Bill came down to Tyler, Texas and would take clients out fishing with the Cream Worm and a brand new rig called the Texas Rig. So, What's so cool about Cream Lures is they are still in production today. They are still based in Tyler, Texas, and you can still definitely fish it old school with the original Texas Rig Worm. That wraps up our tour of the Bass Pro Shops in Memphis, Tennessee. We were able to pick up some old school baits, which I'm pretty excited about. And hopefully, um, in the time that we've got left in the great state of Tennessee, we're gonna be putting some of these bad boys to use. Till next time, keep those volunteers a volunteering, and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassoon.